At the edge of the Western world, silent tremors rippled beneath the California sun, shaking not just the ground, but what we thought we knew about Earth itself. The story begins, as the best ones do, with a puzzle. NASA's satellite maps lighting up with a trail of strain. As the Earth's ice melts and the sea levels rise, cities along the coast are considering ways to hold back the rising waters. But a new government study predicts that many of our state's most iconic beaches are in danger of disappearing. At the edge of the Western world, silent tremors ripple beneath the California sun, shaking not just the ground, but what we thought we knew about Earth itself. The story begins, as the best ones do, with a puzzle. NASA's satellite maps lighting up with a trail of strange, shimmering heat signatures, curving just off California's iconic coastline. Was this just a glitch, a digital anomaly, or did it signal something deeper, a clue to Earth's most hidden processes? As puzzled engineers and geologists peered closer, a web of discoveries began to unfold, each more intriguing than the last. This isn't the familiar story of the San Andreas Fault's relentless grinding, or California's infamous earthquakes. Recent scientific advances paint a picture of a drama unfolding on a colossal scale, where portions of California's ancient igneous crust aren't merely cracking or melting, but are peeling away and sinking deep into the planet's mantle. Meanwhile, signs of coastal uplift and double fissures beneath the surface add layers to the unfolding mystery. Scientists have detected deep, clustered earthquake swarms under the quiet Sierra Nevada, and magma moving upwards and distorting the land, breathing new life into peaks once thought silent. Each data set, every anomaly, pushes us to ask new and unsettling questions. The world beneath is not just rock and molten metal, but the dynamic, shifting machinery of our planet, a machinery that operates for the most part out of human sight. So what, exactly, is happening beneath California? What new forces rise through the cracks of the earth and what might they mean for those who call this beautiful, perilous state their home? Tonight, we descend deep below the surface, tracing NASA satellite revelations and following the world's leading geologists to ask, what is rising below the crust? Are we witnessing seeds of a new geologic era or signs of changes we have only begun to comprehend? Let's dig in because the Earth is speaking and the message may reshape everything we think we know. Chapter 1 The crust is peeling away. Imagine the ground vanishing from under your feet, not instantly, but peeling back in vast, invisible sheets. Could you ever imagine Earth itself shedding part of its own skin? Geologists now point to a great shear zone, an immense region where California's ancient, weighty, igneous crust has begun to decouple from the rest of the continent. Beneath the golden ridges of the Sierra Nevada, for thousands of years, heat and pressure have slowly gathered, until finally, portions of crust began to detach from the underlying rock. This deep peeling, scientifically known as delamination, allows gravity to tug massive segments into the softer, denser mantle below. This is not a tidy process. Dense slabs descend in a slow-motion geological cascade, making room for hotter mantle to push upward. In effect, the Earth is rearranging its inner architecture, effectively resetting much of its buried history, sometimes erasing millions of years in a single, unseen movement. The natural question follows, why now, after ages of apparent quiet? Shifts in temperature, stress, and plate motions all combine to bring this ancient process to the surface. Is this the end for the Sierra Nevada, or the birth of its next chapter? Chapter 2 California's coast rises overnight. Imagine waking to sudden transformation, streets and beaches lifted, even just slightly, by forces from below. Would you believe it if a familiar coastline rose in weeks or even days, as if nudged by the invisible hand of the planet? What could cause an entire coastline to lurch upward, leaving the ocean to dash against rocks newly exposed to sky? NASA's satellites have been quietly recording shifts along California's Pacific edge, revealing surprising new uplifts jolts in elevation that seem to defy the usual slow pace of geologic change. Although most coastline uplift occurs gradually, satellite imagery suggested sharp local rises. These surprising changes were not random. They correlated with unseen stress being redistributed deep underground as the crust peeled and shifted. As ancient crust detaches and sinks, the Pacific plate presses ever more against the coast, triggering sudden land movements. 
Residents awoke to altered beaches and new waterfront edges, their world subtly or suddenly reshaped. This is not just a glitch in the land, but a dramatic reminder of the planet's restless processes. Earth in rewrite, lines redrawn by deep, dynamic forces. How long will these changes last, and will California's coastline continue its reformation? Chapter 3 Hidden magma rising upwards. Silently mountains swell, a signal that ancient peaks might be waking. What drives the modern movement of magma beneath the Sierra Nevada, and what happens as it nudges its way upward? Researchers have been captivated by satellite heat maps, seismic records, and surface deformation measurements. All point to subtle but unmistakable anomalies, traces of warmth creeping beneath even the most placid summits. As dense, insulating crust peels away, lighter mantle below decompresses and partially melts, sending new magma towards the surface. What had been locked beneath a heavy lid now rises, deforming ground above as it accumulates. The consequences are profound. Magma can fracture rocks, vaporize underground water, and create the conditions for dormant volcanoes to stir. Where the ground swells, it signals subterranean movement, nature's whisper that ancient fire might someday find a crack to surface. Quiet mountains no longer guarantee a passive future. Peaks long believed retired now bear the slow-burning signs of reawakening. So when magma stirs below, how certain can we be of peace above? Chapter 4 Earthquake Swarms the growling below. California is no stranger to quakes, but lately, sensors beneath the Sierra Nevada have recorded unusually intense, persistent swarms, dense clusters of small tremors echoing deep below. Typically, earthquake swarms involve a flurry of closely spaced seismic events, distinct from the single large quakes Californians have learned to expect. In recent times, these swarms have grown more concentrated, pulsing through layers of Earth at depths rarely reached by traditional earthquakes. Scientists attribute these patterns to the complex interplay of rising magma, peeling crust, and shifting stresses within the mantle. As mantle welling breaches the thinning crust, rocks respond by slipping and cracking, triggering quakes in quick succession. These swarms are not mere precursors to the big one, but indicators of deep, ongoing change within the planet's skeleton. Their unusual depth, in particular, suggest processes far below the reach of conventional faults. Evidence of dynamic reorganizations scientists are just beginning to understand. Is the Earth offering a warning or simply revealing its hidden rhythms in seismic code? Chapter 5 The Double Crack Mystery A rift within a rift, a double fracture running through the crust. What are we to make of this unusual geological feature? Researchers, aided by seismic surveys and satellite imaging, have detected two roughly parallel cracks beneath California, a rarity in tectonic behavior. These are not the ordinary results of surface stress along established faults. They reach deeper, dividing domains of ancient rock in ways geologists have rarely observed. The formation of a double crack suggests layered weakness, where the crust, under immense tension, shatters at more than one level as it is stretched and peeled. Some theorize this may allow new basins to form or open doors for deeper magma to advance. While not fully understood, this geometry underscores how Earth's tectonics can evolve in tandem, with multiple lines of weakness cooperating to reshape a region. Does a double crack mark the start of new landscapes or the breakdown of old certainties? Scientists agree, such features hint at live, evolving processes beneath our feet. Chapter 6 Predicting the unpredictable. With so many moving parts, is it possible to see the future through today's seismic pulses? Experts like Dr. Harold Myers at Caltech are leading the way, combining satellite data, seismic waves, and ground deformation analysis. Digital models now recreate the region, matching NASA's heat signatures to measured ground swelling and earthquake clusters. Sophisticated simulations run with every new set of readings, offering early glimpses of where stress is accumulating and where the crust is most likely to move next. Yet prediction remains a challenge. Not every anomaly leads to disaster. Many pass uneventfully. Machine learning is now helping sift through torrents of incoming data to detect patterns invisible to the human eye. But the future for now is always partially obscured. 
Will tomorrow's disasters ever become fully predictable events? Or is uncertainty baked into the restless spirit of the Earth itself? Chapter 7 Oceanic Puzzles Unveiled Some mysteries point not to the land but to the sea, the shifting domain beneath California's offshore waters. For decades, the Pacific Ocean floor was known for its pockmarks, vast, rounded depressions that puzzled marine geologists. Originally, most assumed they were made by sudden releases of methane gas. However, recent research, sparked by onshore crustal changes, has forced a revision. These pockmarks, new research shows, are older and deeper than once believed. Their formation likely connects to earlier eras when chunks of crust detached and fell toward the mantle, leaving scars on the ocean floor. Echoes of delamination events like those now underway beneath the Sierra Nevada. By linking these scars on the seafloor to land-based activity, scientists can now start to read a shared story, one where the Earth's reshaping acts as a unifying force, bridging land and sea. What other signals wait to be found in the deep, hinting at the planet's internal patterns? Chapter 8 The Satellite That Saw It First High above, NASA's Earth-observing satellite played a quiet but crucial role. What exactly did it reveal? The answer began with a glowing, almost otherworldly band of heat snaking near California's shore. The image was hauntingly smooth. A red-hot outline detected not just as surface heat, but as subtle ground lifting and shifting reflectivity. Multiple rounds of observations confirmed this was no artifact of sensors. The Earth was, indeed, displaying patterns previously unseen. This satellite was able to trace migration of heat, the swelling of land, and the progress of deep cracks in ways inaccessible from the surface, offering an entirely new perspective to geologists accustomed to incomplete data from ground-based measurements. Now for the first time, the birth and progress of tectonic drama could be watched as it unfolded. Could these orbiting sentinels transform the very nature of how we respond to disasters in the making? Chapter 9 Geology in the Data Age in the digital age, geology has become a science of synthesis. Dr. George Castillo at the U.S. Geological Survey is at the frontier, combing through seismic records, gravity readings, and vast archives of satellite data. No longer does discovery rely solely on field expeditions and rock hammers. Now geologists stitch together time-lapse visions of how plates move, how magma rises, and how landscapes change. Rather than waiting years for patterns to emerge, Instant data integration paints a living portrait of the crust in motion. This enables researchers to connect events, such as a distant uplift, to activity hundreds of miles away. Dr. Castillo describes it as, watching California rewrite its autobiography, live, and in ultra-high definition. It is a golden age for data, and a reminder of just how much the planet's subtleties can elude even our best efforts to decode them. Can ever sharper data translate into better safety? Or will uncertainty persist, no matter how detailed the picture becomes? Chapter 10 The Mantle's Raising Hand What drives this whole epic? Many scientists now point to the mantle itself, a vast, slow-moving, but all-powerful agent of change. As parts of California's dense, ancient crust sink away, lighter and hotter mantle material rises up to take its place, a process known as delamination. As heavy sections drop off, the upward flow triggers new cycles of volcanic activity and uplifts mountain belts or coastlines above. The result? Landscapes are remodeled, sometimes restored, sometimes erased by this long, hidden dance. This raising hand of the mantle is not malicious, merely a fact of a living planet. It can thin sections of the lithosphere, create new volcanic fields, or reshape valleys, all depending on which pieces of crust fall and where the underlying mantle surges through. Do California's most dramatic changes trace to ancient forces, always ready to upend the landscapes we know? Chapter 11. Sleeper Peaks on Edge. Not even the oldest mountains are immune from change. Some of the Sierra Nevada's sleepy summits are now watched more closely than ever. Geologists have turned their attention to certain peaks long believed dormant, monitoring subtle signals, hints of warmth, increased tiny fracturing, and quiet ground swelling. These may not always portend an imminent eruption, but can mark significant changes in subsurface magma and water flows. The hazards are diverse, 
not just volcanic but including landslides and the release of heated groundwater. Old rules regarding extinct volcanoes are being rewritten as scientists learn that crustal peeling and delamination may awaken ancient conduits, allowing even long quiet peaks to buzz with new energy. How many of these giants will stir, and when might they again reshape the region's map? Chapter 12. The Shape of Future Shocks. Californians are trained to prepare for the big one. But what if the true challenge is not one massive quake, but an age of rolling transformation? The ongoing crustal drama has broad implications, social, ecological, and economic. Engineers, planners, and insurers all struggle to keep pace. As coastlines shift and mountain slopes move, where will it remain safe to build? Rural communities may experience sudden losses or gains of groundwater. Ecologists must rewrite models for habitats as soils and rivers change courses. Much of California's infrastructure relies on predictable land. Yet new findings suggest the next century could hold more dramatic ground motion and risk than ever before. The world beneath our feet is more unpredictable than anyone long believed. How does a society adapt when even the ground it stands on is in question? Chapter 13. When Science Meets the Unimaginable. Scientists, faced daily by Earth surprises, now grapple with something more. A shift in the boundaries of what they thought possible. What is it like to watch your own field change overnight? Crust peeling, sudden coast rises, and reawakened peaks stretch the limits of traditional geology. Researchers process data with awe, their mental frameworks forced to expand with each anomaly. The humility sparked by such surprises fosters collaboration, where geologists, physicists, and engineers must continually update their stories, and prediction becomes an ever-moving target. Earth, it turns out, may always have new tricks to teach us. With every double crack or satellite revelation, science is reminded, there is much left to learn, and certainty may always lie just beyond the next seismic reading. Is this endless surprise what drives curiosity onward, even as the ground keeps moving? Chapter 14. The Human Angle, Life on the Edge. California dazzles with promise, but its prosperity is shaped by the uncertainty beneath. How do those living on shifting ground face lives of real, daily consequences? In communities perched above fault lines or along lifted coasts, routine decisions take on new weight. Should you rebuild in place after land uplifts or relocate entirely? Water supplies might boom or vanish overnight. Property value dances to the tune of the latest satellite data or seismic update. Families debate the risks, businesses prepare for emergencies, and schools drill for the unexpected. In a world where ground stability is never again presumed, society's plans must grow both more flexible and more resilient. How do we root ourselves and find stability in a world designed for change? Chapter 15. A planet that won't keep still. Stand atop a California bluff and look outward, to the ocean and downward, into the restless heart of the world. The peeling crust beneath the Sierra Nevada, the swelling magma, the shifting line of coast, these are all parts of a tale still being written. Earth is a restless composer, forever revising its masterpiece. NASA's satellites, geologists' analyses, and the daily lives of California's millions are all testaments to the planet's relentless creativity. Perhaps the greatest discovery is humility, knowing that as much as we predict and observe, the Earth will always hold the power to surprise us. Uncertainty is not a failure of knowledge, but the spark that drives discovery forward. Stay curious and vigilant, because when it comes to the ground beneath our feet, the next revelation may already be silently climbing toward the surface.